Robert Lewandowski is La Liga's Player of the Month for October. And we are not surprised at all. Not at all. Seven goals in three matches. It's simply massive. If we now factor in his exceptional header against Madrid, he deserves all the awards he gets. Since the start of the 24-25 season, Lewandowski has been simply exceptional. He's currently leading the race for the European Golden Shoe, the highest goalscorer award in Europe. With 14 goals in his first 11 La Liga matches this season, Lewandowski is currently the highest goalscorer in the league and no one comes close. Not even whole teams come close. Robert Lewandowski has scored more goals, 14, than 13 of the 20 teams in La Liga this season. At this rate, at the end of the season, Lewandowski is going to continue his streak of at least 25 goals in all competitions for a 15th consecutive season. Not bad. The Polish striker has seven more goals than Iosi Perez, the second highest goal scorer on the list, and is on course to win the Pichichi for the second time, having previously won it in the 22-23 season. This season, Lewandowski has been directly involved in more goals than any other player in Europe's top five leagues. No wonder Hansi Flick thinks he's the best striker in Europe in the last decade. The Polishman has been equally exceptional for Barcelona in the Champions League. In three matches played, he scored three goals, including his superb finish against former team Bayern Munich. Without any doubt, Barcelona are currently one of the most informed teams in Europe. They're sitting comfortably at the top of La Liga and are also quietly one of the favourites to win the Champions League. And all of this is due to the managerial masterclass of Hansi Flick and exceptional displays from players like Robert Lewandowski. For me, in front of goal, he is the best. It's amazing to have such a period where you're always scoring. It's very good, so I'm really happy with him, Flick said. Since joining Barcelona, Lewandowski has pretty much been consistently in exceptional form. The last time a Barcelona striker was this good, his name was Luis Suarez. Can Lewandowski match Luis Suarez's success at Barcelona? Time will tell. Lewandowski scored 12 times during the opening 10 games of La Liga this season. The last player to achieve this feat was none other than Lionel Messi in the 2019-20 season. And click here if you want to see how Messi and Inter Miami are making waves. And subscribe if you enjoy. Although Barcelona boss Hansi Flick has been full of praise for Lewandowski's stunning start to the season, he's not been surprised by it. This is the Robert I know, the former Bayern Munich coach said. I never knew another. Flick is not lying. In fact, he has a history with Lewandowski. Under Flick at Bayern, Lewandowski also made history. He broke the 49-year-old record for Bundesliga goals in one season. The Bundesliga's historical number for most goals in a season was the 40 scored by Gerd Müller in the 1971-72 season. That record seemed insurmountable until Lewandowski broke it in the 2020-21 season in just 29 appearances. That season, Lewandowski scored 41 times in only 29 appearances, winning both the Bundesliga's highest goalscorer title and the European Golden Shoe. That season, in just 29 appearances, Lewandowski comfortably outscored the likes of Lionel Messi at 30 and Cristiano Ronaldo at 29. I'm very proud and happy, Lewandowski said upon receiving the prize. In the season I scored 41 goals, there was one moment when I thought I couldn't do it, and that was the period when I was injured. But then I just thought that I was so close to beating the record that no matter how many games I got after I came back, I just have to be positive and believe that I can score 41 goals. In 2020, under the tutelage of Hansi Flick, Bayern Munich won the sex tuple. Lewandowski was the team's best player. That season, he was Bundesliga Player of the Season, UEFA Men's Player of the Year, Best FIFA Men's Player, Top Scorer in the Bundesliga, DFB Cup and Champions League and top assist provider in the Champions League. Golden Ball winner, Footballer of the Year in Germany, European Sports Person of the Year and he also scored the most goals across Europe's top five leagues with 32. And that season, as you can imagine, 
Lewandowski was one of the favourites to win the Ballon d'Or. But unfortunately, he lost the award to Lionel Messi, coming in second. Now, many still believe that he was robbed of the award that year, as he was the most deserving, with Messi even heaping the praise on the pole himself. You deserve your Ballon d'Or. Last year, everyone agreed that you were the winner, he said, adding, I think France football should give you your Ballon d'Or. You deserve it and you should have it at home, Lionel Messi said after winning the 2021 Ballon d'Or. However, the year Lewandowski would and should have won that award was in 2020. And that year, unfortunately, the ceremony was cancelled due to COVID. Now, if he continues his current form and does win the Ballon d'Or with Barcelona, will he be in line to have a better legacy than Luis Suarez for the Catalans? Born the 21st of August 1988 in Warsaw, Lewandowski started his footballing career as an unregistered player of a local club, Partizan Lesno, before joining MKS Varsovia Warsaw, where as a teen he played for seven years. In June 2008, he joined Lech Poznan. In his second season with the Polish club, the 2009-2010 season, Lewandowski won the Polish league and was the 18-goal top scorer. After a successful season, Lewandowski was linked with many European teams, but in the end he moved to Borussia Dortmund. It was at Dortmund that Lewandowski first proved his worth to the world and burst onto the scene. In his first season at Dortmund, Lewandowski wasn't an important player in the team. He could only make 17 starts and played 43 times in all competitions in that Dortmund team that went on to win the 2010-11 Bundesliga title. That season, Robert had just 13 goal contributions, 9 goals and 4 assists. Not bad. It wasn't until the 2011-12 season that Lewandowski became an integral part of the Dortmund team. He played in every game that season as Dortmund defended their Bundesliga title. That season, the Polish striker scored 22 goals and grabbed a bunch of assists too. Lewandowski was even better in the 2012-13 season. That campaign, he scored 24 goals in the Bundesliga and 10 goals in 13 Champions League matches, but lost the league and the Champions League to Bayern Munich. Lewandowski also made history himself that season. He scored four goals against Real Madrid in the first leg of the Champions League semi-final match, becoming the first player in Champions League history to put three or more single-game goals past Real Madrid. In January of 2014, Lewandowski signed a pre-contract agreement to join Bayern Munich on a free transfer, with his BVB deal up at the end of 2014-15. Although many Dortmund fans saw this as a betrayal, Lewandowski left for Bayern at the end of the 2014-15 season. In the words of Jurgen Klopp, his manager at Dortmund, he came to Dortmund as a class striker and leaves as a world-class striker. In 187 matches played for Dortmund, Lewandowski scored 103 goals and provided 42 assists, with 145 total goal contributions. At Bayern Munich, Lewandowski cemented his name in the Book of History. He became one of the greatest strikers of his generation. In Germany, for Lewandowski, breaking records was an easy task. He shattered almost all available major goal-scoring records. He broke the record for most goals scored in a season when he scored 41 goals in the 2020-21 season, in a calendar year when he scored 43 goals in 2021, by a non-German player, 312, by a substitute in a game when he scored five against Wolfsburg at the Allianz Arena in Munich, Germany, on the 22nd of September 2015. Oh! I almost forgot, most away goals scored 128 goals. So many records. Lewandowski spent a total of eight years at Bayern, from 2014 to 2022, scoring 344 goals in 375 appearances. He also gave 73 assists, meaning that out of 375 appearances, he had a total of of 417 goal contributions. Simply outstanding. In terms of silverware, Lewandowski won 19 titles during his time at Bayern, including eight Bundesliga titles and the Champions League. Today, 
the Polish striker is considered a Bayern legend and one of the greatest players to have ever played for Bayern and in Germany. Hansi Flick believes Robert is the best number nine of the last decade, which would mean that he's better than the likes of Suarez, Benzema and Aguero. Do you agree with Flick? Let us know in the comments section. Lewandowski joined Barcelona in the summer of 2022 after he told Bayern that he was not going to be extending his contract, which was due to expire in 2023. Barca's decision to sign Lewandowski from Bayern in July 2022 led to much criticism. Now, no one questioned Lewandowski's world-class quality, but the wisdom of investing 45 million euros in a 34-year-old striker was understandably questioned by several pundits, especially since Barcelona were broke. Real Madrid are the ones who've been making the headlines recently with their signing of Mbappe to complete their legendary squad that's filled with star-studded names. And as a result of this, Barca, the other Spanish giant, are seemingly going under the radar. But this could prove to be a bit of an oversight, as it seems they may be a huge candidate for winning not only La Liga, but the Champions League too with the likes of Yamal, Olmo and Pedri all on fire, and the man who's Barca's other main man, Rafinha. They are a force. Click here for our video on Rafinha and drop a like if you enjoy. At the time, the then Bayern boss Julian Nagelsmann said, it's the only club in the world that can buy players without having any money. It's kind of weird and crazy. Lewandowski, however, quickly proved he was worth every penny paid in his first season. In that 22-23 season, Lewandowski's first at Barca, he was pivotal in the team's clinching of the La Liga title. That season, he scored 23 goals in 34 league matches and won the Piccini, which is Spain's equivalent of the Golden Boot. However, his second season, the 23-24 season, ended rather disappointingly. He only managed 19 league goals, his lowest tally since his first season at Bayern, all the way back in 2014-15. So the 23-24 season was a bust for Barcelona. They failed to win any trophy, and as a result, Xavi was sacked, and Hansi Flick, whom Lewandowski had history with at Bayern, was appointed. In the summer, Many expressed the view that Lewandowski, who they thought was no longer mobile enough to lead the Barcelona attack and had become ineffective, should be released. But thank goodness he wasn't, because now he is on fire. Lewandowski is thriving under Hansi Flick. Once again, he's back at the top of his game. At 36, he's still one of the best strikers in Europe. This season, in terms of goal contributions, no player comes close. Thanks to Hansi Flick, with whom Lewandowski has now scored 100 goals and provided 24 assists in 85 games played under him, Lewandowski is again at the top of his game. What Hansi Flick is doing is incredible, Lewandowski said. It's not only with me, but with everyone. Barcelona's front three have taken home the first three La Liga Player of the Month awards this season. Rafinha, Yamal and now Lewandowski. This shows the madness Hansi Flick has been up to since he started managing this team. Click here for more on Barcelona's amazing start to this season and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So, in 109 appearances for Barca, Lewandowski has scored 76 goals and provided 19 assists. Can he continue this form and inflict some damage on the league and end up being as good or even better than Suarez was for Barcelona?